This place is practically <laughs> falling apart. It must be dirt cheap. Oh, oh I think it's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the old Granville house, and it's a wonderful life. You know, the one George and Mary used to throw rocks at and make wishes. See, isn't this perfect? Jamie would love it. Chester would love it. I'm sure this place comes with things that could eat Chester. happens to overlook the driveway with a basketball hoop. <laughs> so whenever I need inspiration, I can watch you play, shirtless. I mean, you've just got this all figured out, don't you? Well, I'm just <laughs> dreaming. Baby Tree Hill's always gonna be our home. And I don't wanna leave forever, but at the same time, we never said we'd stay forever. Okay. You wanna dream? <sighs> Let's dream big. You should get back to your music, but I'm not talking about writing songs in some creaky old house. You should get back on the road. Everybody's yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. Hey, I saw that look in your eyes after that USO show. You get the same rush from the crowd that I do. And one attention horror per family is enough, don't you think? We can make it work. Like we did last time. We're not the same couple we were then. We're much stronger now. We also have a child to think about. He has school. It's a good thing his mom is the world's greatest teacher, whose specialty is tutoring Scott. <laughs> I don't know, baby. A, a different city every night, living out of a bus. What kind of a life would that be for him? It's the kind of life most kids dream of. I'll tell you what. Pretend like we're outside right now, throwing rocks at this house. You tell me your wish wouldn't be to go back onto it. <sighs> It would. I knew it. Nathan, we would have totally separate lives. What would that mean for us? Phone sex. <laughs> I'm serious. This is our marriage. You can't take those kind of chances with marriage. You gotta play defense. Oh, do you know who you're talking to? Have you seen my defensive stuff? <laughs> Look, there's only a couple of things that I'm certain of in life, and one of them is that no matter what happens, you're gonna be the one wheeling me around when I'm 80. Besides, I just, I couldn't live with myself knowing that my dream kept you from pursuing yours. You're so amazing. <laughs> I know, you get lucky. <laughs> think about it, will you? Yeah, I'll think about it. Besides, what do you want with an old house like this? There's too many rooms. You forgot how much fun we're gonna have filling them up with kids. Oh, really? All mm -hmm. oh, these oh, rooms? Oh, that's a big house. <laughs> this house is starting to grow on me. Oh, it's been a great anniversary. But you did all this for me. Mm. I didn't give you anything. That is not exactly true. You've given me an amazing life so far. Who knows, maybe someday when my body's completely wrecked and your singing days are over, we can come back here and grow all together. What do you say? Yes, I say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary, baby James Scott. George Bailey, I love you till the day I die. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>